Hello, my name is Stefan Laub, and I'm the head of Cucumber.it, or Laub Lab, a company based in Vienna, Austria. And I'm very happy today to present you our new tool, uh, which is called Tile Pro Surface Engine. We call it short also the QTile Pro. And uh, in this short video, I will explain you today how this works and why we made it. Qtile Pro is a bit a dream come true for me because I wish for a very long time for a tool like this to create surfaces. So it is an engine or a tool for making advanced surfaces directly within Cinema 4D. If we look into the real world, what advanced materials uh, are or what they consist of, we see that they somehow are random, they have structure or uh, partly not really structured in a regular way, but they have some repeating patterns or non-repeating patterns, or some have really uh, absolutely repeating patterns, but at the same time, there's a irregularity and variation in it. Yeah? So, uh, like tiles or the floor or facade or panels or roofs, there are endless examples of things that uh, uh, repeat and at the same time have variation in it. On the other hand, there are also materials that are seem on the first hand totally irregular and these are even more hard to make, especially if you zoom out, it, you tend, the eye tends to see the repetition of the texture immediately. Tile Pro is here to deal with both of these materials, with tiling materials like this here, and also non-tiling structureless materials which should not repeat uh, in any visible way. We studied endless of these uh, materials and tried to analyze them and build all the things that make these materials up into our Tile Pro engine. This, for example, is also a test scene we made, uh, or it was a rendering where we used the uh, Tile Pro engine a lot. Actually everything here is made with Tile Pro. Uh, only the grass and the car and the trees are not made with it. And these are just surfaces, yeah? That's all all actually made materials with the surface engine. And all these sh shapes and irregularities and variation in, this, in the material is made via the Tile Pro uh, plugin. The Qtile Pro engine is actually uh, very deeply integrated into Cinema 3D. It is, in fact, a kind of 2D render engine or surface renderer, which renders polygonal shapes and also the space in between these shapes. It has edge detection and edge rounding, edge irregularities, and each of the shape actually it has, when I look here inside, each of these tiles uh, has its own mapping control and randomization control. And uh, each tile can, its, uh, can have its own texture. And uh, I show you here in this little example best how this works. This is here Corona for Cinema 4D. I can open the Corona node editor. It works uh, also with the nodes. And I can use now the Tile Pro engine, like a shader, uh, to build up complex uh, surfaces. In this case here, maybe I start here with the interface. I have just the plane here and the material. Maybe I'll let it render first that we see what it makes. In that case, I use also displacement. Let it render. It takes a little bit in Corona to get the displacement started. And you see here, uh, I have a huge surface uh, consisting of all these patterns that are generated by the Tile Pro engine. And all the variation, everything that's in here uh, not repeating is generated by 
the randomness and texture controls and mapping controls of the Tile Pro plugin. This next here is seen that's uh, interesting. I think it's made in V-Ray. It's just a plane, again, a displacement and the material on it. And I will render it uh, soon to show you how uh, this looks in, in the rendering. When you look at the shader and the material, there's the Tile Pro engine loaded. And inside here, we have the shaders and materials. And here you see it coming. So actually that's just the surface and everything here, all the details, everything is parametric uh, generated via the Tile Pro engine. All the variation, everything is endless tiling, but not repeating, not vis without any visible repetition. And you see all the details from the bricks and, and the mortar and everything you can build up with the Tile Pro engine and it renders pretty fast actually uh, despite the detail and it's it's just the surface is everything here is generated here uh, by the engine and we just put a very few textures inside and the rest and all the randomization is done here in the in shader engine setup. So I end the rendering here maybe and then I will show you uh, how this works in the shader. Basically, uh, make a space here. Basically, uh, the Tile Pro engine is, as said, used similar to a shader. So you put it in a slot here, in a texture slot, and then you click in it, and actually then you come here to the setup. The first is you have, uh, can have one or more layers, and you can open each layer, and you have a preview here. You can set it to be super huge or in that case, I make it smaller because I have not much space here for the recording. And if I click actually inside the preview, I get the custom tile editor in here. I have the polygons and each polygon can have a texture ID. So I can assign a texture and a UV mapping uh, to each of the single shape tiles. I can draw with the tools here, any shape. I can also import splines from Cinema 4D to create any polygonal shape here. And I can texture the shapes and the space in between. And that also layered and I can save that to a library or load from library. And we also have a lot, lot of library presets, of course. Uh, when I click on here, library loads and we have uh, many, many preset elements for you already ready to use. We come to that then in detail for the help videos. Uh, so that's the tile editor here and below here are actually the parameters for the engine. The first section is about the textures that you can load, the shaders and textures that you can load inside the Tile Pro. Uh, you can set how the UVs are handled for each shape, if they are handled together, you can show them very detailed here. You can get different kind of randomness over all the tiles and uh, so that the things never repeat, also for huge surfaces. And then you can load here the shaders, uh, either just load a full browser of textures or you can put shaders in here. Uh, it takes any C4D shader that uh, makes a surface. You can also put layer shaders inside, bitmaps, whatever you want. And each channel here for these textures has its own control. The next is then control on the editor and the tiles themselves, how much they should repeat in U and V, global rotations, random uh, points, diff deformation, uh, random rotation, random intensity, like here. can adjust everything, uh, every aspect of that random rotation of the texture or the tiles, random offset of the texture or the tiles, uh, also random tilt, so it gives a little inclination for like displacement for floors or tiles to um, give extra detail. And then each shape is really a polygon and uh, you have here in this section 
details how it deals with the edges. So uh, it has an edge rounding here. It has uh, a texturing of the mortar. It can also be transparent, so they can stack up different layers uh, of, of Qtile Pro setups. It has an erosion of the shape, so it can the irregularity that it's not so straight. All that irregularities are made here with an erosion setup. Always controllable by curves, so you can really set how that erosion happens. Uh, outline is a kind of like uh, a dirt or V-ray dirt or an, an, an effect like like the borders uh, are worn out or something of the of the elements with a custom opacity map and so on. And in case you can also ma make mosaic-like uh, uh, setup so you can load an image here and then you have control and mix this image or, or drive the color of the shapes by this image. And of course a global UV tiling of the whole uh, engine can be tuned here. Uh, to have, have deeper control in. Basically, that's it. So you have one part for the textures. So the Tile Pro engine can take any texture and shader from Cinema 4D and has its own mapping. Then the setup how the tiles are placed and randomized. Then the texture how to deal with the edges and the mortar. And again, randomization. And all these can be layered, so you can add uh, copies of this layer, add new layers, and mix them together to build up really, really complex stacks. Uh, you can also put all directly to make a normal map, map out of it, or a height map uh, in one click. And as you have seen before, you can use this setup for any channel. It can be for the albedo, diffuse channel, glossy channel, reflection channel of a material. Like in this here, we have it in several channels, of course. And you can use it in displacement, of course. And basically, the limit is your imagination in the end and how detailed you are willing to set up the uh, material. Here is an example for a bit different use uh, for a surface that has no structure. Uh, as first I show you the usual problem that we have with such structures. We use a, a seamless texture here and when I render it, you will see uh, the usual problem, even with seamless textures, uh, we see immediately the repeating structure in it. Of course, this is a bit an extreme example, but it's very clear and we all know the problem. Even if it's a good texture, the eye detects the repetition of the texture. And if we have a case like here where we have to zoom out, like for asphalt, concrete, or big plus or something, we have this problem. And with Tile Pro, I can make a setup with these patches uh, that actually has not this problem. So I use Tile Pro to have a random soft patches here. And when I render now, you see it looks totally different. And it is exact the same texture, really also just one texture. But via the Tile Pro engine, it can be used to have a never repeating uh, structure here. It, it breaks up the texture in a totally different way so we not detect uh, uh, the usual repetition in here. And as a last scene for today for this video, I show you another type. Uh, it's again a V-ray scene because this is something we uh, use quite often. And in that case, it's uh, not really tiles what we make, but a different kind of material. Again, we have a um, surface, just a simple surface as start and I'll move it here, the frame buffer. And in that case, it's a uh, a gravel floor with leaves 
I hope you can imagine that good. It's a lot of death of field in that case, but you see here all the stones and all the leaves and everything is made up with the Tile Pro engine. So it's a good example that this is also a very good tool to make uh, very irregular shapes. I not let it render to the end, but I think a little bit we can leave it, a little bit more. And it shows great another use uh, of the Tile Pro engine. And if you zoom out, the great is that it will never repeat. It can cover really huge areas of that stuff. Yeah, As long as you make the main UV tile big, you can have everything, randomis every randomization possible within the tile. I hope this shows very good the many ways of usage that you can do or things you can do with the Tile Pro plugin. Uh, we have made many examples here. You find them all on our webpage. So if you go to the webpage on 3dtools.info slash tilepro, you'll find all the infos and you will find also within the next days uh, uh, new help videos that show uh, little examples uh, of what I showed you before. And we also will uh, give you here and there some Cinema 4D files with Tile Pro setups. I hope you liked what I showed you. Uh, we will give you more info over the next days and the plugin is available uh, from today on uh, within our shop. Thank you very much.